Tres asombrosos, parte 3 de 3 en Entre Maestra y Discípulos, impartida en inglés el 27 de febrero del 2005 en Hungría. She said one of her dogs, the dog she, she knows is uh, like a gentleman, you know, he always wait for his wife and kid to eat first before he, he come and eat. And he never, uh, he was very gentleman all the time, you know? Yeah. Lucky in a way is the same. He always wait for everybody else to eat first most of the time and then he come eat. But except fruit, fruit he don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> He kills. <laughs> he go and eat everybody else as well. <laughs> Once he finishes his food, he go eat everybody else. <laughs> Anybody who don't eat or left over or too slow, even big dogs, small dogs, he's not afraid to go and get it, eat it all. <laughs> uh, yeah, lucky always wait. In the beginning, I asked him, why, why, why don't you ask? You eat like everybody else. And he, he said he feels like an omega, that's why. I said, there's no such thing as omega, alpha, whatever, that rubbish. You go eat your food. <laughs> and then they go eat. You know, the omega dog, they always eat behind everybody else. It's after, you know? But the thing is, because Lucky was the geisha also before in Japan. Yes. And the geisha, they are trained like Japanese all the time to wait for everybody, for her husband, at least to eat first before they eat. Understand? So it's just, ah, it's interesting to know the history of one dog. <laughs> and one time he was an owl, that's why he ate fruit. And the owl was kept by owl, right? O-W-L, owl. And he, he was kept by a black magician, and this black magician never let him out. He told me, you know, that he was very suffering. Yeah, but he learned some magical <laughs> tricks uh, with the magician, and he used it sometimes. Sometimes he used, I say, okay, fine, but you don't use it for bad purpose. I say, okay, otherwise I cut it off. Right? And then he, he used it sometimes. He used it to protect me sometimes. That's his gift for me. That's his gift for me. Every dog come bring a gift for me to offer. Same with the birds, they also bring different gifts to me. It's too long to talk about it anyway. Okay. Um, maybe some of your dogs, they also have gifts for you, but you don't know it. Some dogs have gifts to bring along with them, and whoever nice to them, they give it to them. Yes. For example, some dogs have a gift of making the owner wealthy. If you're nice to him, he makes you good money. And you don't think the dog is not earning it, but he causes it, causes it so you to earn money. Uh, that's why there was a hospital, not a hospital, a dog house in, I think it's San Francisco. There was a man, he was uh, uh, homeless, nah? and he has nobody, and he, nobody loves him anything, and then he just adopted, that dog came to him and adopted him, 
and feed him and all that together. And then later he became millionaire. <laughs> Because the dog is keeping him company all this time, make him happy, and then he can think again how to make money. And then so he makes a lot of money. So after he died, he put in his will all the money for the dog. So they make a big house for the dog. Any dog that adopted there live in special room, they have windows and blankets and bed, everything. Good room, yeah. And take good care, like a human. Uh, the house in San Francisco, right? Anybody? Maybe somebody knows about it? Okay, no. The animal world is fascinating. Fascinating. If you can talk to the animal, they tell you a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, there was one show in America when I was there. There was a psychic, uh, animal psychic. She can talk to dogs. Uh, dogs or other animals, yeah? And it was a live show, eh? they bring different dogs there. And then one time the owner was asking why his dog's been sick, tired, and no active anymore, and the doctor don't know what's wrong. So the psychic concentrate and talk to the dog. And then she said that, your dog tell you that because you use all this chemical to clean the house, so he cannot bear it and he's sick. So he will beg you not to clean with the chemical anymore. And at that moment, that dog go and put the paw into her hand, you know, like shake hand. That, that dog never know her before, eh? He come to her and then put the paw on, on, on her arm. And so it was very touching. Yeah, it's life, it was life. She's very famous in America. Her name is something like Fitzgerald, something. She lives in Texas. Yeah. And I just watched at that time, the dog come to her and put the paw on her arm, you know, hand like that. And, and then, oh, it was very touching. At the moment she finished the sentence, she, he come and do that. And it's so obvious, you know. Yeah. Thank you for telling Thank you, yeah. He, ah, he was so happy. So the owner just used the vinegar, a half vinegar, half water to clean. Ever since then, and the dog is okay. So if you have pet, don't clean with chemical. Yeah, anything the chemical it might hurt your dog, and you don't even know it. Dog or cat, anything. Human also I know human, but the dogs are more sensitive. Yeah, because they lay on the ground, they lick their paw and everything. Most dogs came from second level, eh? That's why they are so loyal, they are so smart. Yeah? Cat uh, mostly came from astral level, so they have magic power. They are very psychic. Cats are very psychic. Dogs are very loyal and uh, have uh, a lot of good sense and intellect because it came from second level. There are beings from second level who came down specially for some reason, eh? mostly to help their friends or relatives still there or something like that, or some attachment somewhere. Eh? But not my dogs, eh? My dogs, eh? <laughs> the, other, the two dogs, uh, yeah, came from maybe second level, but the dog that I have eh? are not. Like Benny, he came from the fifth level, eh? so he goes back there some volunteer to come down so that they can be around. Because they missed me, you know. <laughs> so it's very, even if they're on the fifth level, they don't see me. Hardly or never. So they come down here when I'm here. I can stay long, <laughs> many years together. Oh, we talk about the geisha and and uh, the Rottweiler goody, yes. They were husband and wife before even, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, when he was samurai and she was a geisha. And uh, so they were fantastic together and protect each other and all that. One time, if I Kogu lucky because he peed and he volunteered, he walked down, go down first because he knows that lucky is going to go down after that. Cannot stay in my room, you know, as uh, Train purpose, he has to go, he cannot stay. And then he go down first and wait for him down there. <laughs> Not romantic, just gentlemen, you know. <laughs> 
And because of that, I don't scold uh, Lucky much anymore. You know, I take him down together. Because they all understand, you know? Always the same. If I scold Lucky because he, he pees somewhere, then he immediately could he get up, which is difficult. When he's on his sofa, no even thunder, he don't move. But if I scold Lucky, he walk down there and wait for him. They've been together before. And because of that, Lucky can come. It seems like I just uh, adopted him, but if you check it out, the whole history, they all link together, that's why. See, I cannot have one without the other taken in, something like that. Yeah. Even though they're different levels, but Goody helped to bring Lucky in, you know? Or Lucky helped to bring Goody in, vice versa, whatever, you know? Yeah. Cows are from uh, almost the fifth level, you know, border of fourth and fifth. Cows, all the cows are from there. And they eat them. You don't know whom you're dealing with all the time. <laughs> you look down upon animals, you're not even there. Look at the cow, they eat just grass and they give you milk, cheese, they absolutely everything. And they still kill them, eat them. You know, the cow are like a mother of almost the whole babies on the planet, you know, all the baby on the whole planet. So if I tell you to be vegetarian, it is correct, all right? Even if I didn't tell you all this, the cow is a benefactor of mankind. Understand? Yeah. You should never touch them. Now, what do you want to say? Okay, and uh, the, the big dog, he bought some bread. I didn't eat that day, and he put some bread there in front of me. He, that, he did? Yeah, it was really touching, really yeah. touching. Oh. Then the next day I was outside and I watched them play. Because they, they were first growling to each other, and then they snuck under the fence. And there's a big open land there, like it's vast. And then the dogs were all playing together. It was really fun. They look like, like birds flying in the sky, they look totally free. Mm. And each of those dogs, they a, a different personality, like the big one, he's kind of the strong guy who can run the fastest and go the yeah. fastest distance. And yeah, yeah, fastest. Uh, Goody, the Rottweiler, he's a very filial dog, very friendly dog, very generous. Whenever anybody from the family come home, especially me, he always grab a toy or anything nearby, even a pillow and come and offer. <laughs> Toys, food, anything. He just wait there, offer. <laughs> yeah. And he, he is very gentle. He never jump because he knows he's too strong for me. Yeah. The first day I teach him only one time. I say, you're very strong. I am fragile. Don't jump on me and don't push me around. So whenever he go near me, he sit down immediately. He sit in front. Yeah. Either with the, some offering or not, he sit so that I can pet him, talk to him, and do, and then I sit with him and hug him. But he never jump up and hug me. But all the men attendants, he jump on their head, and <laughs> them, oh, on the shoulder, everything, play rough with them, punching around, you know, pushing, <laughs> jump on them, and both fall on the ground, everything he does. He treats them like dogs. <laughs> like dog smell, you know, buddy, buddy, yeah. But he always sit in front of me. He never jump on me. But happy is stubborn. Happy the girl. Whenever I come home, she come and punch me right in the stomach right away, just one. <laughs> and then everything else is uh, later. And Goody always bring the offering, you know. Always, never fail. Even if I don't see him, just five minutes before I come back down. Oh, he go and grab a toy and come and wag him tail and everything. He have only very little tail behind, that's all. <laughs> so fast, you know. <laughs> can... Always some toys or something to, to offer you if you come. If he knows you, he make offering to you all the time. Yes. They, they're really special, you know. So you can tell that they're special. They're not normal dog, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And he gives you bread, eh? Yeah. Oh dear. Well, I touched. How does he have bread? He just had the piece of bread and he just put it there. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> but you know, I was 
choked up with emotion. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. And I, I picked the bread and gave it to him. I think he was embarrassed. I embarrassed him. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't know how to react. I just, you should take it and put it in your pocket or yeah, something. Yeah, He'll I, be pleased. I was thinking I would eat that. Oh. I was thinking I would eat that because he bought it. Yeah, why didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't mind. Or you should take it and put it in your pocket or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's so nice, eh? Yeah. I can't believe it. Because bread is hard to get here. It, it's not like he has bread every day, you know, yeah. and he, he give it to you. Oh, yeah. that's nice. And, and, he, and he didn't say much. You know, when I said yesterday that no. I think he's quiet. Yeah, he he's just very comes quiet. And he just, just he, and you feel peaceful. Yeah, he's know. very quiet. Um, when I first came, the first day he already snuggled around, you know, like putting his head snuggle around my dress, you know, <laughs> and let me pet him for a long yeah. time. Yeah. I think that's a, they are really amazing, the animals. Yeah, they know everything. My dogs, they smile very big. <laughs> Whenever I pet them or they're on my lap, they smile. <laughs> so big, so big. No, Everybody I, can see it. I feel like getting a dog now because I think there's a way some quality inside you, right? Some love. <laughs> It's hard work. You, yeah, you I don't know, just get that. Okay, you have to know do. what to do, eh? Yeah. Before you have to study in book. But if you love dog, you have one, eh? But you must know it's hard work. And you don't just have a dog just for your sake. You have responsibility. My bird, I really love. You know, like sometimes the dog plays some antics, <laughs> and then what is there? <laughs> laughing like that. <laughs> and then looking again and later. <laughs> Yeah, I heard your birds. I was really surprised. I didn't know a bird could talk like that. Or they laugh. They laugh. Yeah, they yeah. laugh like that. I yeah, and now, now every time I, I see him, I say, "Are you happy, guys?" Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes, sometimes we talk funny joke, you know. And uh, I happen to let a bird stand there, or I play with dog, and we do something funny, and we laugh at that bird. And also look at it and laugh also. <laughs> They're really happy laughing. Yeah. Happy laughing. Oh, incredible. Yeah. They, they all laugh. When it's funny thing, they laugh. Yeah. They laugh like that. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. You don't know. You don't know the animal's kingdom. They're beautiful. Beautiful. It's a lot of work though. Okay. Never mind. I can't tell you too many things either. <laughs> it's all the amazing stuff. It's all the amazing. But yeah, the history of your dogs and the fun uh, stuff, but the okay. other stuff I cannot tell. Sure. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Eh? Nice to know. Animal have uh, really intelligence. They are intelligent. Yeah. If you love them, they love you back, and they respond amazingly. Yeah. But you have to really love them, eh? They know who loves them, you know. No matter how you act or anything, eh? don't fool them at all. Yeah. So even some of my attendants acting like, like they love my dog, you know, he loves my dog whenever I'm around, you know. Yeah. But I know he doesn't because the dog don't care. Yeah. <laughs> don't care about him. They, 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 they know sincerity, right? They can see. They, they, they feel, they are psychic. Yeah. They see through. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they don't need language. Yeah. They understand everything. I see something like that happened to me a couple a uh, couple of years ago. One of the brothers uh, they bought the, the 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 small baby there, and I was all smiling and everything. And then the baby looked looked all through me, and then I realized all that was just act. It was uh, none of it was real. That yeah. that smile, that everything, and I felt really ashamed. <laughs> he saw straight through me. He looked yeah. through me, and he and I, and I went. Uh, you you realize? Yeah. 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 So now you look into animals' eyes, and and you know that they know. Yeah. 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 And you just stop whatever you right. were acting or fooling around, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that many times from other people. <laughs> like one of my attendants. Just sometimes they told me so when they look at. Abby's face is a uh, because he was scolding for nonsense reason, and Abby look at him, <laughs> you know, kindly but uh, strictly, and then he feel immediately like a message to him saying, oh, "Stop that! It's okay. Yeah. It's okay." <laughs> it's, but rarely he can get the message. Sure. Just that day, yeah. They're so cool, you know. They they tell you without language. Okay, do we have enough now with dogs and we meditate, eh? Okay? Right? Any more questions before we meditate? Yeah? May I just ask you how, uh, how uh, 
how many points uh, uh, do we get while talking to alive, like now? Before you said that uh, while uh, when we watch videos, mm -hmm. listen to the songs. Oh dear. <laughs> Please, no business now, okay? <laughs> Can you just enjoy my presence? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tell you some points so that you know to encourage you to practice, but you don't bargain for business here. You don't come here because of points. You didn't even know I'm here, and that was good that you come. And I'm here to enjoy my present, no matter if point or zero point or point or big point or point. Should not think like that, eh? Right? Even if you have point, it depends on how you concentrate and what kind of motive you have in your heart. I cannot tell black and white, no? But please, no business everywhere. There's one corner without business. When we're together, no business, okay? Right? Any more? Yeah, good, huh? Okay, we'll meditate then.